Hey everyone, I'm Mort, the gameplay director on TFT, and I'm here to discuss our next set, providing a few spoilers on traits and units to come, as well as an update on TFT's mechanics. After that, I'll pass it to Mariah to share some of the new personalization content and discuss the future of events before we take a look at our roadmap for TFT in 2023. All right, so allow me to introduce our next set, Teamfight Tactics, Monsters Attack. Absurdity ensues as an unlikely group of heroes band together against titanic awakened threats. Welcome to Spatulopolis, a city brimming with heroes, threats, and the resulting wreckage, mine the debris. Coming patch 1223, our next set brings a new set of traits more heroic than anything the Convergence has seen. It'll also herald the return of familiar favorites like Mech and Star Guardian, but with big twists from their galaxy's counterparts. But before we get into traits, let's briefly discuss our new set's mechanics, and more specifically, augments. First off, the big one. Augments are now an evergreen mechanic to TFT. For those who aren't botanists, this means that augments will stick around set after set in addition to new mechanics that come and go with each set. When we introduced augments in Gizmos and Gadgets, we had no expectations that they would stay around for Dragonlands and beyond, but after extensive polling and internal testing of Dragonlands with and without augments, it became clear that augments were not just something we wanted to continue tinkering with, they were something that the overwhelming majority of our players wanted to keep. Augments provide moments of high stakes decision making that allow you to come up with more strategically creative comps and leads to a fresh experience game after game. They also unlock endless possibilities from a game design perspective, and we've just scratched the surface on what we can do with them. Of course, augments will change set to set, and a bit in mid sets, to better complement new traits, units, and thematics. But in addition to swapping a portion of our augment roster for our next set, we're also using them in a new way as our set mechanic, one that feels uniquely heroic or villainous in accordance with our theme. In our next set, we're introducing Hero Augments, an entirely new roster of augments. Instead of having blanket effects, Hero Augments buff a specific unit. These augments allow you to make your chosen hero a superhero or supervillain if that's more your style. We're still superfying these augments at the time I'm recording this, but here are a few early samples that are still a work in progress. One of Alistar's hero augments turns his single target knockup Pulverize into an AoE and gives him a bunch of health. His other hero augment, Beef Up, gives his Pulverize ability max health scaling. There will also be hero augments for our villainous threats. They're also called hero augments because even bad guys deserve a chance at playing the hero. For instance, Super Size grants Zack a ton of health literally 2,000, and immunity to crowd control, while also giving you a Zac. Since both Zac's ability and his passive have max health scaling, this augment makes this threat exactly that. As you can tell, hero augments are quite powerful. They'll take your chosen unit to the moon, so we've added a couple controls to keep these heroes in orbit. Hero augment selections can replace any of the original three augment rounds, but they're only offered once per game and they're offered to all players at the same time, providing different options for you to choose from. At TFT, we truly believe that anyone can be the hero, which is why every unit will have two hero augments specific to them. All of these different options for souping up your heroes and threats allow for plenty of different super teams to save the day or smash it to smithereens. With hero augments creating so many possibilities, we're excited to see what players come up with. Now, let's talk gameplay. Before we get into specifics about units, there are two things that you should know. First, there won't be any units that take up two slots in your army. Our next set is about building your team of heroes, and last I checked, you can spell team without Dragon or Colossus. Second, Ramus will, of course, continue to be excluded from TFT. TFT is simply a better game without a spiky armadillo. More, uh... What? What, was that the wrong line? More, Ramus is in the set. Who? Who allowed? I never said Ramus could be in freaking. Okay, so apparently Ramus is making his TFT debut as a threat to my sanity, but also as one of the powerful units in the all-new threat trait. 
turns out our next set isn't all Star Guardians and Sunshine. The Threat trait is our first trait that's not really a trait. Threats do not benefit from fielding other threats, and they have no other traits. To compensate, these units are more powerful than other units. You can still field any number of them, which makes them like a good rain boot, splashable and flexible. Next up, we've got the Spatulopolis fan favorite, Anima Squad. The first time an Anima Squad unit gets a takedown during combat, they pause to strike a pose for their fans, gaining a stack of fame. Each point of fame gives Anima Squaddies ability power and attack damage that increases at each trait breakpoint. If stacking big numbers like you could with Vagar and Fates is your game, look no further than Anima Squad. And better yet, Nasus, whose ability Bonk can be upgraded with a hero augment to give it its stacking mechanic all of its own. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes and all heroic alignments. Take Underground, for example. Sure, they may not be the most heroic heroes, always scheming to pull off a big heist, but they get the job done, it just may not be the job you want it done. The Underground are a group of rapscallions that are perpetually attempting a heist. With each player combat, you will move towards completing your heist, getting one progress for a win and two for a loss. Each time you hit seven progress, you and your crew are offered some heist rewards, but it's up to you to take what's offered or to hold out for more powerful rewards. Just make sure you can complete your heist before you get carried away to an unfortunate fate. I can't wait to see how far you can take your heist with the underground. There are plenty more super squads to uncover, such as the steadfast Ox Force that will fight to the bitter end and then some. This crew is led by gun maestro and sad boy Aphelios, whose custom trait Arsenal allows you to swap between weapons to change his ability. Aphelios' ability isn't the only thing you can customize in our next set. We've also got a customizable trait. Admin allows you to configure the cause and effect of your admin program, aka the trait. With admin, you'll be able to pick a cause and then you'll be able to pair that cause with an effect. For instance, you can combine at the start of combat with trigger a chance to chop gold to play admin as an econ trait that gives you a gold each round. There are seven total causes and seven total effects to choose from. Each effect is balanced around how easy or difficult the cause is to trigger. Admin is an exciting trait for me, not just because it has so many different power levels, but also because it gives players an opportunity to put on their game designer hats when building their comp. Just be careful, if you play admin too long, you may just find yourself getting mort dogged by yourself. Self dogged? But this is a set about heroes. And what more heroic traits to talk about than the returning Star Guardian? Like their galaxy's counterparts, Star Guardians interact with mana. But instead of distributing mana to each other, Star Guardians generate more and more mana as you go up in trait breakpoints. This can lead to some wildly explosive fights as the spells start slinging faster and faster. Just look at the chaos. All right, it's time I pass it to my teammate Mariah over in the Singapore office to discuss personalization content, events, and more. But don't worry, we'll have time to talk more at the end of this dev drop. Hello everyone, I'm Mariah, one of the producers for Cosmetics on TFT. I've been with Riot for over seven years, with more than two of those on TFT. Also, I have an adorable, but very mean cat called Chocolate. It's been amazing to be part of TFT's growth over the past seven, soon to be eight sets. And I'm here to share where we are going with personalization content in our next set and beyond. First up is one of our most ambitious arena yet. Our mythic arena, Everything Goes On, is a love letter to the Star Guardian universe and its fans. With Easter eggs dating back to lore from the original Star Guardian lineup, as well as an all new intro ceremony that will allow your tactician to live out their very own magical schoolgirl fantasy. Even Baron can be a Star Guardian in TFT. And one of the coolest part of this new arena? Well, it's actually better if you hear it yourself. Having a Star Guardian arena wouldn't be complete without new Star Guardian chibis. So, we are bringing fan favorites Lux and Ari to life as base chibis and as Star Guardians. 
By now, we know that every chibi variant comes with an exclusive finisher. These chibi finishes will have all of the sparkle and magic you would expect from Star Guardians. It's not always about the combat, sometimes it's more about the glamorous style that can only be obtained with a magical transformation. Lux will be released first, followed by Ari a couple patches later. With this set, and in the future, you can expect to see a broader range of styles for our cosmetics option so that you can express yourself to the fullest. At TFT, we're really good at making cute stuff. I mean, really good. But with our next set, we're introducing little legends that would be offended if you call them cute. Even though they're pretty cute. You've already met Baron, but they're just one little baddie joining the crew. There's Grizzle, whose passion is long walks in fragile cities. And then there's Whisker. They are purr evil, and they're always up to something. That kind of remind me of my cat in that way. All right, that's it for cosmetic spoilers. Let's talk about events. We've had a few events up to now. Skyglass, Gift of the Golden Lantern, and most recently, Secrets of the Shallows. Each event brings additional fun and thematic flair to TFT, but we think we can do even more. In addition to bringing new arenas, tacticians and narrative adventures like you've seen in Secrets of the Shallows, our next event, targeted for early 2023, will feature a new limited time game mode. It's an exciting step towards innovating on what events can offer. Look forward to more details on our next event and game mode as we get closer to release. Now, I'm going to welcome back Mort to share some spoilers for the future of TFT. That's right, we are entering the spoiler zone. Thanks, Mariah. Now let's take a look at where TFT is heading. Starting with patch 1223 in early December, the next set will have you building your super team and utilizing hero augments to lead your squad to victory. Then we'll usher in the new year with an event that'll come with its own themed game mode for the event's duration. Just after that, in March, we'll see what the future of Spatulopolis holds in our next mid-set. And in the summer of next year, there'll be a brand new set to enjoy as TFT turns four. Wow, four. That's how old I was when I grew my first beard. As you can see, we've got lots to do over here at TFT, so I better get back to it. Until next time, take it easy.